Evelyn turned one recently and we had a watermelon themed party for her because that's her favorite food. I do want to sample these later in the video, but for right now I feel like they're gonna be cool as a fashion accessory, like set decoration thing. I just want to do this whole video in a balloon cloud and uh, it's gonna be really squeaky. This is the worst idea ever. So today I wanna to make a track out of only sounds that Evelyn has made, and uh, I'm using about six months worth of sounds from earlier in her life. Lately she's like good at words and she sounds more like a normal person as opposed to, uh, you know, a tiny little baby Yoda. <laughs> So I made a note here of a whole bunch of the sounds that I think are just great and usable as is, and then there's a few that I want to process just to see what I can make out of them. Oh, I already made a kick, look at that. I've got three layers of this sound stacked up. Oh no, two layers, one is muted. Wow, okay, so I just chopped a little piece out of that octave down and also 44 semitones down. Mix those together. I also want to show you all the pitched stuff that I got. So um, she, you know, made a bunch of different little cooing noises and I found what the closest notes were um, and then I put auto-tune on them so they're really, you know, hitting exact notes. And I've also put those little clips into session view and there are these follow actions in Ableton so you can choose after one of them plays, does it go to the next one? Does it go to a random one? In this case, I've got it going to any clip other than the one that just played and so if I hit play on any of these clips. We've got a little melody maker. Just gonna throw a shaper box on here with 16th notes now so that we can get a tighter sound for each of the notes. Yo, what if we made a chord progression out of this? I'm gonna grab these notes that can make a D minor chord. We'll group this together. I'll make another group that's uh, F major. And let's do an A minor. So we'll grab these E's. Now I can manually trigger each of these chord groups and uh, change to a new chord every bar or so. Yo, let's just run with that. D minor, F major, A minor. Let's record this. I think we just need to make this less busy. So I'm going to um, add a filter and we'll just do the beginning of each bar can pass through. Yes, let's throw some delay on there. Just wanna adjust the envelope a bit there. All right, let's set that aside for now and do some sound design on the more percussive stuff. Pitched up hiccup for a, I don't know, a little percussion bit. This wants to be a snare. I think that could be pretty cool as a reverby snare. This breath is full on a shaker. What happens if we slow this way down? He sounds like a dinosaur. Alter boy, always. A little laugh, turning into like a cool chanty accent thing. Man, I just kind of invented a new sound design workflow for myself here. I was going through and just changing the automations on a couple of these plugins for each of the sounds that I wanted. Now I'm gonna create a new track, set my old track as the input for that and just record it all in one shot. Some fun sounds to use later. I just listened to the chord progression thing I made before and decided I hate it. So uh, we're gonna start this track somewhere else. Resample the kick drum so that it's just one little file. Also uh, running it through some light saturation. Let's get that uh, hiccup snare in here. Now I wanna layer this with a bunch of different snares. I just wanna find something that's good and characterful, snappy, bit noisy maybe. Love that one. Ooh, this like rim shot, that's just, 
<laughs> All right, grab my three favorite other snares. Let's drop them down here. Instead of making this one snappy, I kind of want to give it, uh, I want more body. OTT. These are all iPhone recordings, so they are stereo. Uh, we don't want our snare to be in stereo, or maybe like a little bit. Why not? I don't know if I can really tell. Uh, <laughs> hi hat time. EQing that a bit. Now let's go back to some of these sounds. I'm just gonna drag this whole clip over and start start dropping stuff in. Layer that with the kick drum. Let's cut in some of these effects. What about those shaker sounds? All right, you know what? Now that I like this beat, I'm going to bring those chords in and see what we could do with this. Because we don't have anything too melodic in there and uh, kind of want to see what that's like. Oh, wow, just like pitching up the printed version of that. Reverse it? Oh! No, we crashed. Ah, balloon time. Yes, I would like to recover my work. Whoa, this sounds cool. Mm. Yes, we have it. Okay, let's save. I'm gonna pitch this one down too, but warped so that it's like still in that faster time. That's cool, that's more like just a, a nice atmospheric chord hit. What if this one kind of like pitch drifts in? Drum bus on the master though? I don't know if you're hearing it, but there's this resonance that happens with this foil balloon. There's like a nice low tone to it. There's almost a note with it. And I'm trying to follow it with the microphone as it moves because as soon as I hit it, it goes further away and, and the sound goes with it. So, um... I also can't just hold the balloon like this and tap it because it's gotta be free, you know, to resonate. That sounded pretty good. Oh yeah, this is the technique right here. Doing my squats. All right, sick. I was hoping that would be more satisfying. Wow, editing samples always takes way too long, but it's usually worth it. Um, check out some of these fun balloon sounds. Some of that is just the raw sounds of me manipulating the balloons, uh, although some of them are sped up, like for instance, this. Turned into this. Now I have made balloon music before. That was a cover of 99 Red Balloons or 99 Luft Balloons, and um, I used a lot of squeaky sounds to make notes to play this melody. It was necessary for that cover, but the squeaks are the worst sounds, and there are so many other cool sounds here. I don't think I'm gonna have time today to make a track, but just as a proof of concept, let me do like we did before with those follow actions. We can pitch shift them around. I don't know, this is how I like to have fun. I'm always looking for unique ways to do percussion. I think that could be the start of something cool. I also noticed a few sounds have kind of like a lo-fi quality to them. Like this balloon hit sounded like a kick, but with a bunch of room noise. You know, we could grab like this little um, pluck.
Love these samples. I'm gonna make music with this later though. It's getting late, but by the time you see this video, I will have put this all together into a sample pack. Um, and the baby sounds will be a separate sample pack as well. Uh, link in the description if you wanna get those. I'll put them on my website for like five bucks. Or if you're on my Patreon, I'm sending samples to my Patreon people all the time. Um, packs that I release like this and also some exclusive samples. Also, if you're on my Patreon, you just get all the music I ever release, which is pretty nice. And uh, speaking of that, I just released something that was requested by a lot of people. Uh, Blue Dawn is now on streaming services. This is a better mix and a slightly shortened version of, well, <laughs> way shortened. I have this two hour modular patch on my second channel. I don't know how there are longer songs than that on streaming services because I was getting right up to the file limit. I had to just trim it way down. I was using um, flack. But anyway, we got a 48 minute version of the patch now on streaming services. So I uh, hope you enjoy that. And uh, maybe, maybe I'll end with a little clip of that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. You know, I don't need to see my keyboard, it's fine. <laughs>